So hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Um, maybe we can begin with a brief intro to the beautiful game. What can people expect when they watch the film? Go on, Mel. I, I, I think you could basically see a representation of the Homeless World Cup as, as is. I mean, it's a, it's a fictional movie, obviously. Um, I think it's, uh, it, it's uplifting and it's, um, there's, there's, there's funny bits in it and sad bits in it, but it's, it mirrors life and mirrors the Homeless World Cup. And, of course, I just think, like myself, most people wouldn't even know, um, you know that this event takes place um, and it's such an incredible true story. When you first read the script, what really jumped out to you and why did you want to make the film? Partly that, the fact that this incredible thing I didn't know about, but the idea of making a film about it so that we could bring it to as many people as possible was thrilling. I just felt that the script really captured the hearts and lives of certain individuals whilst at the same time not running away from what's really, really difficult about having such huge numbers of homeless people all over the world and yet at the same time showing really clearly what it does that football, sport, in, but football in particular, what happens when you bring people together to play, to play football, people who don't even speak the same language, something happens when they pull on a shirt representing their country and they've got seven minutes to play a game, uh, 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 you know, against each other and they, they, everything's forgotten. Their life outside of that football field is forgotten for a moment and it can be incredibly inspiring and literally change people's lives and that in itself is incredible. Um, you've put together such a, a brilliant eclectic cast I guess to reflect um, all the different characters but in particular you know Bill Nye is the manager and of course Michael Ward is Vinny. Um, what's it like bringing all these people together? Um, it must have been so much fun. It was, it really was and um, we were laughing and reminiscing about not not only did we have to do so much the admin backstage that went on to just try and get all of these people because we have i think it's 80 representatives from all over the world players who have actually played within the homes world cup over various years so we had you know people from literally every continent that we were flying in during covid let's remember so you know all the odds were against us. That's the funny thing. And we look back now and the determination that goes into making the Homeless World Cup happen every year as an event, somehow we picked up that ball and we literally did not let that go. And then on top of that, to have Bill, Michael, the truth is that everybody just, we just blended into, we became one team, one team putting on this movie. And it was amazing. The atmosphere on set, off set was superb. It really was very, I think, it was very special because we captured, I think, the heart and soul of what the what the tournament for real actually is, which is life changing. Yeah, yeah, it did. It, it's 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 amazing what happens at our annual events. It's just pulling people together from completely different backgrounds around a ball, and what happens is is people come together, and the, the atmosphere is incredible. And stereotypical views of homeless people are just destroyed because the people who are watching, and sometimes we have thousands of people watching, uh, are, are, are looking at a game of football and, and not thinking about them being homeless, or thinking about the result and what's going on on the, on the football pitch. But but then the, the impact is incredible on the players and everyone else. So we're about we're about using the football for change. Mm. And I, I guess that's exactly what the, the film does as well, is, you know, it is dealing with difficult subject matter and perhaps one of those things that people don't like to think about that much. But the fact that it's in this incredibly heartwarming story and, you know, the beauty of Rome as the backdrop. Um, and perhaps it is through Vinny's eyes in some ways, like his interactions with some of the other players, Cal and particularly Nathan, you know, maybe he does provide that slightly like prejudiced or cynical view and hopefully the audience go on the journey as he does to sort of, you know, see beyond a lot of that. Absolutely. I mean, right at the beginning of the movie, <clears throat> when he's first asked, he completely denies it. He says, I'm not homeless. I can't play for you. I'm not homeless. We, as an audience, we already know that he is. So we see him ashamed, too ashamed to talk about it, to admit it. It feels like a, such a difficult, taboo subject for him. Um, he just quietly lives in his car and doesn't give anything away about himself. Um, and then, as you say, he goes on this journey throughout that, again, through the playing of the game and becoming part of a team, he suddenly realises there's nothing to be ashamed about and that everybody's there to help him in the same way as he's there to help them. 
Um, so that's part of the, the storytelling, absolutely. And if we can lift that taboo and try and make the world a better place, it, you know, that would be an amazing thing. I think I'm out of time. Thank you so much for sharing all that with me. I can't wait for everyone to see the beautiful game. Brilliant. Thanks a Thank lot. Thank you so Thank much. You.